Many years they were allowed to come back, I think it was after 70 years or so, they were allowed to come back and resettle and then they rebuilt the temple. Did they rebuild it on the exact spot? Because this, was, this is a new generation, after 70 years or so it's a new generation. It's not the people who knew the place. It's another set of people, it's the later generation, perhaps none of them have ever seen that place. And none of them know where the temple was that Sulaiman built. You know, this place that Sulaiman built that would house the, the, the Taboot or the Ark of the Covenant. None of them know. So they uh, probably assume that it is in Jerusalem and so they built a place there, they built a, a, another temple there, at, uh, at that spot. Not the original spot necessarily where Sulaiman built the temple. And so years pass, and the temple is destroyed a second time, and that is by the Romans. And it is uh, again about 70 years after Isa the temple, that temple that they built was there in the time of Isa alayhi salam. But uh, 70 years after him, it was destroyed. And uh, it was never rebuilt after that. And they began to use it as a garbage uh, heat, uh, place, a place to dump the garbage. And uh, in, uh, when the Prophet sallam, made the Isra and the Mi'raj there, there was no building. You know, many of us perhaps, you know, are not understanding the history, think that when the Prophet وسلم, went to Al Masjid al Aqsa, and Allah refers to it as Al Masjid al Aqsa, when he was taken to Al Masjid al Aqsa, that there was a building there, there was no building there. It was completely, uh, that temple that they had was completely destroyed. But was that the place where? Uh, the Prophet وسلم, went, he went or he was taken to Al Masjid al Aqsa. If that is the place where they built the second temple and then that was destroyed, that was a garbage place, a place of garbage. Right? <clears throat> so maybe it was that, and the Prophet وسلم, went there, he prayed with, with all of the other prophets and so on. And if it was not that place, then the Prophet وسلم, was taken somewhere else wherever Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa was. So, <clears throat> uh, we, have to, we have to understand this history and understand why, you know, the kind of confusion that is there in, uh, uh, concerning that place now. Uh, and why is it that, you know, a, a lot of the things that the Jews are doing today, uh, the claims that they are making are simply claims without any historical background to it. So we have spent a long time uh, just on this point alone. We will not proceed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions uh, the promise that He made to Bani Israel, the two times when they will do corruption and when uh, they will be punished for that corruption that they did. So this is another intriguing thing, an intriguing matter that will take a very long time uh, to discuss. So we cannot discuss it now. Perhaps we can start a discussion tomorrow morning, Sunday, in my Tafsir session. We can, uh, we, we can discuss a little bit about that. Um, but it will take up a lot of time to discuss that here. I just wanted to lay this particular foundation here with you, the Masjid al-Haram and Masjid al-Aqsa and then the dispute concerning Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa and exactly, uh, well, the Temple of Solomon, exactly where it is. The Jews are making a claim over Al-Masjid, or, or the place, that place, the Temple Mount, because they think that this, the Temple of Solomon uh, is there. And so far there, there are no traces of it there. They're trying to reconstruct history according to their own beliefs. I don't know if you saw recently, just a few days ago, they say that the, you know, a coin was discovered in that place 
and some brothers sent around circulated that uh, uh, yeah, on WhatsApp. And a, a coin was discovered uh, by archaeologists uh, in that area that shows that uh, the uh, that can possibly uh, I think it, they trace it back to um, the um, the time when the when the uh, when the state uh, when the state was there, perhaps in the time of Daoud or Sulaiman alayhi salam. That's what they are claiming that this coin is so many centuries old, so many uh, millennia old. It goes back to the time of Daoud or Sulaiman alayhi salam, uh, and it has on it the stamp of uh, the governor of Jerusalem. So they are claiming that this is proof uh, of you know how the place was how the place was organized and that there was a governor uh, who was governing over Jerusalem under uh, the is the, what they call the Jewish state right of Dawood and Sulaiman and so on right maybe they are just simply trying to reconstruct history <laughs> with whatever evidence is there and so on they can produce but who knows the reality of it so, any questions? No. <coughs> you think Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he prayed there in the Miraj, in the Miraj time, there was no mosque or nothing, he made this flat ground or what? So, we, how we know that this masjid is we call Mandaka now? It's the same place or different place? <coughs> oh. No, um, Al Masjid Al Aqsa definitely it is uh, where the Masjid is. There is no. Uh, I, yeah, uh, the the Sahaba, of course, many of them uh, or a number of them who used to travel and do trading and so on. They knew the place, right? So uh, and the Prophet Sallallahu gave them specific instructions about the building of the uh, Al Masjid Al Aqsa. Uh, uh, and when was Al Masjid Al Aqsa built? Uh, not in the time of the. Uh, um, I'm not sure exactly when uh, it was actually built. In the Islamic times, right? It was, it was built. But it was built according to uh, the knowledge of the Sahaba. Abu Bakr and so on, they had visited the place. So when the Prophet described, when he came back uh, from the Isra and the Mi'raj, and the Quraysh asked him to describe the place. He described it. Uh, Allah, well, he, of course, he went, didn't go there as a tourist, right? So he didn't. He wasn't taking note of how the place was and all, all of that. Uh, but Allah Subhanahu wa Taala brought for him an image of the place that he was looking at, and he was describing it. So the people there knew that he was telling the truth because what he described was. Uh, was something that they knew. Many of them had uh, Abu Jahl and all, of, uh, so Abu Sufyan and so on. They used to trade. I right? go, do, go go to that place doing trade. So they knew that this description of his was correct. And, uh, so the Sahaba knew the description of the place that he gave, and so it, they went to that exact spot and they built uh, the Al Masjid Al Aqsa on it. So we know that that is definitely the place of Al Masjid Al Aqsa. But do we know that it is the place where Sulaiman built the temple to house this Ark of the Covenant? We don't know that. The Jews don't know that. But why is it that they are claiming that place? It is because we uh, Muslim, Muslims, I mean our scholars, have always associated Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa with Sulaiman and that is why for many of us also in our minds, minds of you know, the masses of Muslims, it is Sulaiman alayhi salam who built the Masjid al-Aqsa. Right? That is the understanding we have, which is not so from the hadith that the Masjid al-Aqsa was built only 40 years after the Kaaba. So was it in the time of Adam alayhi salam? Or was it in the time of Ibrahim, maybe Yaqub built Al Masjid al Aqsa? So, what is the place that Sulaiman built? It seems to be a different place. Right? This temple to, uh, to, to house that place. 
maybe at that time Al Masjid Al Masjid Al Aqsa was completely destroyed, and you know, so there, there perhaps no idea of the place, no, no trace of it, and so on. Right? Um, and so uh, he, wherever he built that, he built he built that, but he did not. There is no claim on their part that he built Al Masjid Al Aqsa. The claim comes from our Mufassirin, our scholars who talk about this matter and where is Al Masjid Al Aqsa and so on, right? And how, you know, how it came up. Yeah, th those who are associated with, with Sulaiman alayhi salam, which is not correct from the Islamic point of view because of this hadith. It is not correct to associate it with Sulaiman alayhi salam. Was Sulaiman alayhi salam ruler over Jerusalem? Yes, he was. Did he know where Al Masjid al Aqsa was? Probably he did. Maybe he even prayed there and so on. Allahu Alam, Allah knows. But did he build his temple there, right at the spot of Al Masjid al Aqsa? Uh, um, <clears throat> it's only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who refers to it as, a, as Masjid. The Bible doesn't refer to the place at all as a Masjid, it refers to it as Haikal, temple. A temple. So what we have is correct. That is Al Masjid Al Aqsa. Uh, that is the place. <coughs> uh, but there is dispute whether the Temple of Solomon. I mean, even the Jews and so on have the doubts about that, right? Whether it is, uh, whether that's the place of it. A any other questions? Yes. Yeah. Now. So. Uh the uh, uh, the current geopolitical situation in which Israel is intensely fighting for Jerusalem and wants to uh, claim and declare uh, the capital. So, does it, uh, is it related to the Temple of Mount? Uh, I mean, uh, probably it's more than that, or it's just because of the Temple of Mount and they believe. No, not not only because of Temple uh, this Temple Mount, uh, but. Uh, because uh, the place is uh, the Holy Land. It's called the Holy Land by, both by the Christians and Jews as well as by Muslims, right? And why do we call it uh, the Holy Land? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala refers to it as such. Uh, uh, Allah says uh, to Bani Israel or to Musa alayhi salam uh, and he conveys it to them. Uh, <coughs> Ya Ya Kaumi the Khulul Ardal Mukad Dasatal Lati Kataballahu Lakum. Oh my people, Musa alayhi salam is saying this to Bani Israel, uh, enter the holy land, Al Ardal Mukad Dasa, the holy land which Allah has ordained for you. Right? And of course they say what is the response? There are, there are people who are Jabbari, you know, people who are very strong and well built and, and great fighters and so on. And we cannot fight against them. It have anta wa faqatila. You and your Lord go and fight and we will remain here. And so on. And they refused to go and, and fight because they had to fight the people who were there. Uh, so Allah refers to it as Al Ard al Muqaddasa. And they were told that this is the holy land that you were promised, or the promised land. al ard al the, the promised land. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, we didn't go into all of these things, but in other parts of the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala refers to it as uh, the blessed land. In this ayah also, Allati uh, barakna hawlahu, al Masjid al Aqsa. The surroundings of it, that is the entire land around it, is Barakna uh, Hawlahu. We blessed all of the surrounding areas, right? So it is blessed. And that's another discussion too. What is the meaning of blessings? When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that He blessed the place, uh, Allah re refers to, the, to it as a place that is blessed in a number of other. When talking about the, the kingdom of Saba in Yemen and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had made it a flourishing place to such an extent that when they had to travel they didn't have to travel for long distances in the heat of the desert and so on because all along the way between Saba between Yemen 
and the land that Allah blessed, this is how Allah refers to it, between Saba and the land that Allah had blessed were many villages. So they did not have to, have to travel for long. They did not have to travel for an entire day because they would reach a, a village or a, a town is populated, they get uh, the, the, all the replenishments of food and uh, water and everything. They get that, they move on, uh, they reach another village. Uh, very easily, within a day, they are able to reach uh, so, uh, between Saba and the, the land that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had blessed. So uh, in, that, in that surah, in Saba, Surah Saba, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala refers to it as the land that He has blessed. In some other verses of the Quran also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala refers to it like that. The place that he has blessed. But what does that mean? That he blessed the place. Is it still a blessed place when we find all of the corruption going on with, but, uh, with the state of Israel and so on? Yes, it is still a blessed place.